Uttarakhand, formerly Uttarankal, is a state in the northern part of India. It is often referred to as the Devboom due to the many Hindu temples and pilgrimage centers found throughout the state. Uttarakhand is known for its natural beauty of the Himalayas, the Baba and the Terai. On 9 November 2000, this 27th state of the Republic of India was created from the Himalayan and adjoining northwestern districts of Uttar Pradesh. It borders Tibet on the north, the Mahakali zone of the far western region, Nepal on the east, and the Indian states of Uttar Pradesh to the south and Himachal Pradesh to the west and northwest as well as Haryana in the south. Western corner. The state is divided into two divisions, Garhwal and Kumaron, with a total of 13 districts. The interim capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun, the largest city in the region, which is a railhead. The High Court of the state is in Nainital. Overview Archaeological evidence support the existence of humans in the region since prehistoric times. The region formed a part of the Kuru and the Pankal kingdoms during the Vedic Age of ancient India. Among the first major dynasties of Garhwal and Kumaon were the Kunandai in the 2nd century BCE who practiced an early form of Shaivism. Ashoka and Edicts at Kalsi show the early presence of Buddhism in this region. During the medieval period the region was consolidated under the Kumaon kingdom and Garhwal kingdom. By 1803 the region fell to the Gorkha Empire of Nepal and with the conclusion of the Anglo-Nepalese War in 1816 most of modern Uttarakhand was ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sugali. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Garhwal and Kumaon were traditional rivals, the proximity of different neighboring ethnic groups and the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography, economy, culture, language, and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions which further strengthened during the Uttarakhand movement for statehood in the 1990s. The natives of the state are generally called Uttarakhandi or more specifically either Garhwali or Kumaoni depending on the place of origin. According to the 2011 Census of India, Uttarakhand has a population of 10,116,752, making it the 19th most populous state in India. A large portion of the population consists of Rajputs and Brahmins. About 83% of the population follow Hinduism. Islam is the largest minority religion in the state, followed by Sikhism, Christianity, Buddhism, and Jainism. Garhwali and Kumaoni along with other hilly dialects and sub-dialects are the main regional languages, whereas Hindi is the most widely spoken language. Uttarakhand is the only state in India with Sanskrit as one of its official languages. Etymology Uttarakhand's name is derived from the Sanskrit words Uta meaning north and Akanda meaning united, altogether simply meaning united north. The name finds mention in early Hindu scriptures as the combined region of Kadakand and Maniskand. Uttarakhand was also the ancient Puranic term for the central stretch of the Indian Himalayas. However, the region was given the name Uttarankal by the Bharatiya Janata Party-led central government and Uttar Pradesh state government when they were started a new round of state reorganization in 1998. Chosen for its allegedly less separatist connotations, the name change generated enormous controversy among many activists for a separate state who saw it as a political act. The name Uttarakhand remained popular in the region, even while Uttarankal was promulgated through official usage. In August 2006, India's Union Cabinet assented to the demands of the Uttarankal State Assembly and leading members of the Uttarakhand statehood movement to rename Uttarankal State as Uttarakhand. Legislation to that effect was passed by the Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly in October 2006 and the Union Cabinet brought in the bill in the winter session of Parliament. 
The bill was passed by Parliament and signed into law by then-President A. P. J. Abdul Kalam in December 2006, and since January 1, 2007 the state is known as Uttarakhand. History Ancient rock paintings, rock shelters, Paleolithic stone tools, and megaliths provide evidence that the mountains of the region have been inhabited since prehistoric times. There are also archaeological remains which show the existence of early Vedic practices in the area. The power of As, Kushanas, Kunandar, Guptas, Gurjera Pratihara, Katyuras, Rakas, Palace, Chans, Parmas or Panwars, Sikhs, and the British have ruled Uttarakhand in turns. The region was originally settled by Kol people, an Aboriginal people of the Austroasiatic physical type who were later joined by the Indo-Aryan Khasis tribe that arrived from the northwest by the Vedic period. At that time, present-day Uttarakhand also served as a habitat for Rishiza and Sadhus. It is believed that the sage Vyasa scripted the Hindu epic Mahabharata in the state. Among the first major dynasties of Garhwal and Kumayon were the Kunandai in the 2nd century BCE who practiced an early form of Shaivism and traded salt with Western Tibet. It is evident from the Ashokan Edict at Kalsi in Western Garhwal that Buddhism made inroads in this region. Folk shamanic practices deviating from Hindu orthodoxy also persisted here. However, Garhwal and Kumayon were restored to nominal Brahmanical rule due to the travails of Shankaracharya and the arrival of migrants from the plains. Between the 4th and 14th centuries, the Katri dynasty dominated lands of varying extent from the Katra Valley in Kumaron. The historically significant temples at Jagesh were believed to have been built by the Katras and later remodeled by the Chands. Other peoples of the Tibeto-Burman group known as Kirata are thought to have settled in the northern highlands as well as in pockets throughout the region, and are believed to be ancestors of the modern-day Bhotia, Raji, Buxa, and Tharu people. By the medieval period, the region was consolidated under the Garhwal Kingdom in the west and the Kumayon Kingdom in the east. During this period, learning and new forms of painting developed. Modern-day Goal was likewise unified under the rule of Parmas who, along with many Brahmins and Rajputs, also arrived from the plains. In 1791 the expanding Gorkha Empire of Nepal overran Almora, the seat of the Kumayon Kingdom. In 1803 the Gawal Kingdom also fell to the Gorkhas. With the conclusion of the Anglo-Nepalese War in 1816, the Garhwal Kingdom was re-established from a smaller region in Terry. As the larger portion of Terry, along with eastern Garhwal and Kumayon ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sugali. After India attained independence from the British, the Garhwal Kingdom was merged into the state of Uttar Pradesh, where Uttarakhand composed the Garhwal and Kumayon divisions. Until 1998, Uttarakhand was the name most commonly used to refer to the region as various political groups, including the Uttarakhand Kranti Dal, began agitating for separate statehood under its banner. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Garhwal and Kumayon were traditional rivals, the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography economy, culture, language, and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions. These bonds formed the basis of the new political identity of Uttarakhand, which gained significant momentum in 1994, when demand for separate statehood achieved almost unanimous acceptance among both the local populace and national political parties. The most notable incident during this period was the Rampur Taraha firing case on the night of 1 October 1994, which led to a public uproar. On 24 September 1998, the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly and Uttar Pradesh Legislative Council passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganization Bill, which began the process of creating a new state. 
Two years later the Parliament of India passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganisation Act 2000 and thus, on 9 November 2000, Uttarakhand became the 27th state of the Republic of India. Uttarakhand is also well known for the mass agitation of the 1990s that led to the formation of the Chipko environmental movement and other social movements. Though primarily a livelihood movement rather than a forest conservation movement, it went on to become a rallying point for many future environmentalists, environmental protests, and movements the world over and created a precedent for nonviolent protest. It stirred up the existing civil society in India, which began to address the issues of tribal and marginalized people. So much so that, a quarter of a century later, India today mentioned the people behind the Forasachigraha of the Chipko movement as amongst 100 people who shaped India. One of Chipko's most salient features was the mass participation of female villagers. Both female and male activists played pivotal roles in the movement. Gaura Devi was the main activist who started this movement. Other participants were Chandi Prasad Bhatt, Sundalal Baraguna, and Ganshayam Ratchari, the popular Chipko poet. Geography Uttarakhand has a total area of 53,483 square kilometers, of which 86% is mountainous and 65% is covered by forest. Most of the northern part of the state is covered by high Himalayan peaks and glaciers. In the first half of the 19th century, the expanding development of Indian roads Railways and other physical infrastructure was giving rise to concerns over indiscriminate logging, particularly in the Himalaya. Two of the most important rivers in Hinduism originate in the region, the Ganges at Gangatri and the Yamuna at Yamunotri. These two along with Badrinath and Kedarnath form the Chodachadi Ham, a holy pilgrimage for the Hindus. The state hosts the Bengal Tiger in Jim Corbett National Park, the oldest national park of the Indian subcontinent. The Valley of Flowers, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the upper expanses of Biyundarganga near Joshamath in Garhwal region, is known for the variety and rarity of its flowers and plants. One who raised this was Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker, director of the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, who visited the region. As a consequence, Lord Dalhousie issued the Indian Forest Charter in 1855, reversing the previous laissez-faire policy. The following Indian Forest Act of 1878 put Indian forestry on a solid scientific basis. A direct consequence was the founding of the Imperial Forest School at Gerardoon by Dietrich Brandis in 1878, renamed the Imperial Forest Research Institute. In 1906, it is now known as the Forest Research Institute. The model forest circles around Gerardoon, used for training, demonstration and scientific measurements, had a lasting positive influence on the forest and ecology of the region. The Himalayan ecosystem provides habitat for many animals, plants and rare herbs. Two of India's largest rivers, the Ganges and the Yamuna, originate in the glaciers of Uttarakhand, where they are fed by myriad lakes, glacial melts and streams. Uttarakhand lies on the southern slope of the Himalaya range, and the climate and vegetation vary greatly with elevation, from glaciers at the highest elevations to subtropical forests at the lower elevations. The highest elevations are covered by ice and bare rock. Below them, between 3,000 and 5,000 meters are the western Himalayan alpine shrub and meadows. The temperate western Himalayan subalpine conifer forests grow just below the tree line. At 3,000 to 2,600 meters elevation they transition to the temperate western Himalayan broadleaf forests, which lie in a belt from 2,600 to 1,500 meters elevation. Below 1,500 meters elevation lie the Himalayan subtropical pine forests. 
The upper Gangetic Plains moist deciduous forests and the drier terridwa savanna and grasslands cover the lowlands along the Uttar Pradesh border, in a belt locally known as Baba. These lowland forests have mostly been cleared for agriculture, but a few pockets remain. In June 2013 several days of extremely heavy rain caused devastating floods in the region, resulting in more than 5,000 people missing and presumed dead. The flooding was referred to in the Indian media as a Himalayan tsunami. Demographics The native people of Uttarakhand are generally called Uttarakhandi and sometimes specifically either Garhwali or Kumaoni depending on their place of origin in either the Garhwal or Kumaon region. According to the 2011 census of India, Uttarakhand has a population of 10,116,752 comprising 5,154,178 males and 4,962,574 females with 69.45% of the population living in rural areas. The state is the 20th most populous state of the country having 0.84% of the population on 1.69% of the land. The population density of the state is 189 people per square kilometre having a 2001 to 2011 decadal growth rate of 19.17%. The gender ratio is 963 females per 1,000 males. The crude birth rate in the state is 18.6 with the total fertility rate being 2.3. The state has an infant mortality rate of 43, a maternal mortality rate of 188 and a crude death rate of 6.6. .6. Uttarakhand has a multi-ethnic population spread across two geocultural regions the Garhwal, and the Kumaron. A large portion of the population is Rajput, including members of the native Garhwali, Kumaoni and Gujar communities, as well as a number of immigrants. According to a 2007 study by Center for the Study of Developing Societies, Uttarakhand has the highest percentage of Brahmins of any state in India, with approximately 20% of the population being Brahmin. Approximately one-fifth of the population belongs to the scheduled castes. Scheduled tribes, such as the Raji, who live near the border with Nepal, constitute less than 3% of the population. More than four-fifths of Uttarakhand's residents are Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, and Jains make up the remaining population with the Muslims being the largest minority. The Garhwali and Kumaoni, dialects of central Pahari are spoken in Kumaon and Garhwal regions, respectively. Jorn Seri and Boti languages are spoken by tribal communities in the western north, respectively. The urban population, however, converses mostly in Hindi, which is an official language of the state. Uttarakhand is the only Indian state to give official language status to Sanskrit. Government and politics. Following the constitution of India, the state of Uttarakhand, like all Indian states, has a parliamentary system of representative democracy for its government. The governor is the constitutional and formal head of the government and is appointed for a five-year term by the President of India on the advice of the Union government. The present governor of the state is Krishan Kant Paul. The chief minister, who holds the real executive powers, is the head of the party or coalition garnering the majority in the state elections. The Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly consists of elected members and special office bearers such as the Speaker and Deputy Speaker that are elected by the members. Assembly meetings are presided over by the Speaker or the Deputy Speaker in the Speaker's absence. A Council of Ministers is appointed by the Governor on the advice of the Chief Minister and reports to the Legislative Assembly. Uttarakhand has a unicameral house with 70 members of the Legislative Assembly or MLAs, auxiliary authorities that govern at a local level are known as panchayats in rural areas and municipalities in urban areas. All state and local government officers have a five-year term. The state also contributes five seats to Lok Sabha and three seats to Rajya Sabha of the Indian Parliament. 
The judiciary consists of the Uttarakhand High Court, located at Nainital, and a system of lower courts. The present Chief Justice of the High Court is Justice K. M. Joseph. Politics in Uttarakhand is dominated by the Indian National Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party. Since the formation of the state these parties have ruled the state in turns. Following the hung mandate in the Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly election, 2012, the Indian National Congress, having the maximum number of seats, formed a coalition government. Current Chief Minister of the State is Harish Rawat, who sworn in as the Chief Minister at February 1, 2014. Subdivisions there are 13 districts in Uttarakhand which are grouped into two divisions, Kumayon and Gawal. Four new districts named Didiat, Ranakhet, Kotwar, and Yamunotri were declared by then Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Ramesh Pokhriel, on 15 August 2011 but yet to be officially formed. Districts of two divisions are as follows. Each district is governed by a district commissioner or district magistrate. The districts are further divided into subdivisions, which are governed by subdivisional magistrates. Subdivisions comprise blocks containing panchayats and town municipalities. According to the 2011 census, Haridwar, Dehradun, and Udham Singh Nagar are the most populous districts, each of them having a population of over 1 million.